Hello and welcome to another Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at the Ajax Relay, which is just one of the devices that form part of their extensive range of products. This particular device is wirelessly connects to any of the hubs within the range. It has a vault-free, normally open or normally closed contact, which can be operated to switch a third-party device on or off. This could be something within the home, or it could be something that you might need to power cycle. Can also be set to activate upon in the intruder system or the intruder side of the ajax system activating as well such as the motion protect or the space control there it can be programmed which we'll look at later to to uh, to trigger a third party device under activation of those sort of products as well you can trigger up to 36 volts dc 5 amps through the relay fault free contacts it actually powers itself off a dc source as well between 7 and 24 volts dc and has a range of a thousand volts the ways in which you can trigger the third party devices through the actual Ajax hub are manually through a schedule and like I said earlier through the intruder system which we'll take a look at now. Okay so I'm now at the Ajax app and as you can see there I've got a hub and various intruder devices added to the actual app at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to add the relay in a similar method. So if I click on add device, give it a name, relay, we'll choose the QR code as the terms of adding the device. There's one on the box and there's one on the back of the actual unit so if I scan the one on the box Finds the unit there, select the room that I've already set up and add. The unit's got a little function button on the rear of it, which we'll show you shortly in this video, which I just need to press now to get the unit added to the app. And there you can see at the bottom we've now got a relay as part of our accessories lineup. So that little button there to the right hand side will enable you to trigger the relay manually by clicking on it as so. And there you can see we've had a message there saying that it's been activated. We can click that back. Click on the relay itself. We've got some visible status settings there showing us the unit is online and that there's got a very good signal strength, etc. But the little cog top right, if you click on that, you can see there that we've got some options at the top which we can change. We can change it from normally up to normally close, the relay mode and also the room. But the purpose of today's video, we want to quickly look in the scenarios option, which by clicking on it there, it allows us to add a scenario, which is basically a method in which the, the relay triggers. So there's three options. One is by the arming and disarming of the alarm at the top, which we can set there for arming and disarming, how the actual relay contact operates. There's also a no reaction option there as well. There's by alarm, which is one that we'll obviously I'll demonstrate later in this video, which allows you to select detectors or detection devices that have been added to the hub to when activated to then trigger the actual relay. Do that by putting a little tick next to it and clicking next. If you click multiple devices, you can choose to have the relay contact trigger when only one of those devices operates, or you can choose to select the all option there and have a time period as to when both or however many detectors you've chose operate within a certain time period at the bottom, then that will operate the relay contact. So kind of like a double knock, if one, then the other, then the other triggers within a set time period, then the relay will, contact will operate. You can do that from there. So we click on back, just untick that one. Now we've also got schedule, which again, you can set a schedule there as to on a certain time of the day as to when the actual alarm contact will trigger. You can also choose your days there as well, at different times on different days. So what we'll do now is we'll actually demonstrate the relay in action, manually triggering and also triggering from a single alarm device and multiple detection devices. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the relay in action. You can see that we've got my little relay here connected through Dynamic CCV and handy LED installation lights. The contact's set to normally open in the relay, so upon triggering that will create a closed circuit which will cause the light to come on. So the first thing I'll do is operate it manually using the manual operation button. And as you can see there, we've got the light come on and is obviously in strobe mode at the moment. So we can manually obviously turn that off like so. So that's one way of, of operating the relay. And another way of operating it is obviously, as we've seen earlier, to go into the actual scenario screen here and create a scenario. Today we'll demonstrate by alarm. So we'll choose the motion protect option as a single means of triggering the actual relay upon activation. Give that a quick name of test. Save that. So that scenario is now created. If we arm the system, like so, I should now be able to trigger the intruder system via the motion protect and then that would cause a relay activation to activate. If I just wave my hand in front, there we go. You can see there that the relay is activated, the LED lights come on and also the app is telling me that there's been an alarm activation and that the obviously intruder alarm is triggered. So if I quickly disarm the system like so, go back to devices, turn the relay off. If we go back into the actual uh, scenario screen, we can add a second detection device to the scenario. So if I click on our existing scenario and edit it, I can now include the space control unit as well as a second device to operate the actual unit. 
click on next if we choose both of them to operate or an event where both need to be triggered within let's say a period of one minute and click save that's it edited the scenario there quickly move my space control out of the way if you go back and arm the system this is now ready to receive alarm activations from the intruder devices if i initially activate the motion protect i wave my hand in front of it you can see there that we've got motion detection from the pir but the actual relay that hasn't triggered but if i now take our space control and click on the panic button that has a second triggerable device within the allocated time period has now caused the relay to trigger and the actual led light to turn on so i quickly disarm the system and turn the relay off there are just a couple of examples of how you can use the actual relay device within the actual AJAX system through home automation or through the actual intruder system as well. There's many applications that can be taken advantage of, I'm sure you'll agree, within the actual AJAX system as a whole. And there's also a 230 volts option as well of this particular device, which is called a wall switch, which you can see there. It's a very similar product, but this is designed for triggering mains 230 volt appliances within the property as well which again can also be utilized within the scenarios and triggered in the same means but uh, but thanks for watching this video that's everything for now any further questions on the ajax wall switch and relay don't hesitate to contact your account manager they're available from dynamic cctv as part of the full and extensive range of ajax products that we have on offer thanks for watching and bye for now